sound of the 80s. Suddenly you hear it everywhere. It's all beat and all talk. Let's try and turn this 22 inch stud into a masterpiece. Steve Fox examines an overnight phenomenon. Rapping to the beat. We're gonna do black and redfish with a side of pasta and sun-dried tomatoes. You can see right here. I have all the ingredients laid out. What we need to do is some simple prep. Get the fire started, put the linguine on, and then we will get these bad boys onto the skillet, blacken them a little bit. I've got high hopes for this dish, so let's get started. First things first, we'll get the water started for the linguine and we'll get that right on as soon as it is done. Now we will take a couple of cloves of garlic, chop these guys up. Now we'll take and mince up some shallots. Now we'll take some parsley and just mince it up just the same way that we did with the other two ingredients. Finally, we're gonna do the basil in the same manner that we did the parsley. I heard the water come to a boil. Normally what I always do for pasta, whether it's spaghetti or any other, uh, it gets to this rolling boil right there and you just put it on for eight to 10 minutes and you're golden. There we go. Once that pasta goes on, we need to make sure that this gets going. That's the only way, in my opinion, to eat fish is the minute you catch it, just get that bad boy good and ready, and uh, you're going to be able to taste the difference. You don't want none of that frozen stuff that comes from a fish market. You go out there, you spend all day fishing, and this is going to be a tasty meal for anybody restaurant quality why because these are fresh so here we are i'm just going to generously shake this all over our fillets on both sides you have to use the cast iron skillet and it has to get really hot there we are and wouldn't you know just like that finish that up timer has gone off Linguini should be ready to go. Yeah, that looks good. I take about two tablespoons of olive oil. Two to three. <laughs> uh, who's counting, right? So we'll start off with the garlic. Uh, I do not, I don't have an actual recipe, so we'll just, we're gonna eyeball it, and hopefully it's just gonna be to taste. I know the garlic should be more than enough right there. Take that. Just kind of get those. We don't want to burn them. Start sweating them. Let it... There we go. They're starting to turn brown. Oh, very aromatic. We'll take the basil. A little bit of it. Just enough. Turn our heat down. Parsley. There we are. Get some of these shallots in there. Man, this smells really good. Y'all could be here right now and actually smell the gosh. It is going to be good, I bet. I mean, how could it not? Sun-dried tomatoes, that should be more than enough. We'll get a little bit more olive oil. There we are. This has been going for a good two minutes now. So I think we're good. Uh, it smells absolutely delicious. Let's get a little bit of salt. Fresh, cracked black pepper. And now, 
We'll go ahead and place all of our linguine inside there. That may be a bit too, too much linguine. <laughs> Let's get some of that out. Yeah, I think this is gonna be way better than the last attempt that I tried to do the, uh, the pasta. This just seems like it's gonna be way better. There we have it. Pasta is done. Cut that flame. We'll go outside now and tend to the skillet. Get the redfish on there. While this just sits here, it'll stay warm. And uh, we'll plate, get everything ready to go. Let's take our fish outside. Now this guy should be nice and hot right there. Oh yeah, that is ready to go. Get some butter on there. Oh yeah, look at that. We'll get our first filet. Ooh, that almost got me. And we're gonna give this about two minutes and then we'll flip. If it looks like it's cooking too fast then we'll just flip it anyways uh, before the two minutes hit and then uh, give it the same amount of time on the opposite side. Get that butter cruising around. There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks, <laughs> that looks so good. <clears throat> this time let's try to put two fillets on there just so we can speed things up. Let's plate our dish, take a, a bit of the linguine, some sun-dried tomatoes. How does that look right there? Holy smokies. Man, that, I cannot wait to eat this right here. Mm. The redfish. It's nice and moist. Um, the blackened seasoning, I don't know what's in there, but it's kind of like magic because it just works. The butter, I know it's not the healthiest meal or the healthiest way of cooking a meal. Ah, uh, yeah. Words can't explain how good this tastes. The redfish is just nice and tender. Uh, unlike frying it, the flesh of the red has a really like tender, tender uh, texture to it. So it is good. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. I have my wife right next to me. She's eating some of it. She hasn't said anything about like complaining. Elijah's in front of me. He's getting ready to try the redfish out. Uh, for me, I, I, it's two thumbs up. Very, very good. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have tried blackened redfish and if you have and you prepared it in a different manner, drop a comment down below because this is something that I'm definitely gonna be doing. I think this is way better than my redfish on the half shell. This is really good. Uh, I know it's not healthy again, but I can definitely see myself cooking this and eating this more often. Wow, I've been missing out. Mm. I like the crunchy pieces where it actually like fry to a crisp. Those have lots of flavor. Let's try the pasta out. <laughs> That's how you know the redfish is so good because I haven't even touched the pasta yet. I'm almost done with my redfish. I think this is light years ahead of last week's pasta that I cooked. I can do this again as well. All right. So if you enjoyed the video, give me that thumbs up, please. If you're trying to figure out what you want to do with your redfish or any other fish for that matter, definitely give this a shot. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely delicious. The flavors, they all work well together. So uh, this is definitely a hit with me.
sweetheart. It's delicious. Liza, what do you think? It's good. <laughs> Everything's good for Elijah. All right, that's all I have for y'all. Until next time, tight lines, everyone. I, I like this. I, seriously, I love it. The redfish is just...